Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today's video is a little bit different. We're going to be talking about avatars. More specifically, how to transfer avatars from DAS 3D to Clow 3D. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is actually go to the DAS 3D website, download is for free. You just download the app and work through the whole download thing. And then after you download, this page is gonna show up and you're gonna have a lot of things ready to download. So you just download the whole thing, work your way through them. Like I have 62 things installed. And then after that, you're going to be able to open the actual DAS Studio. This is the one avatar I've been actually working on. I wanna create an avatar that I can use over and over again and kind of create a branding, like an image of my photos recognizable just by the avatar. So I want her to be very natural, but have a different kind of hair, also a very unique eye color, just so she would like stand out on the photos, on the renders. So I'm still figuring it out. I'm working on her quite a lot. I saved a couple of different versions. I'm a little bit scared of showing her full body on this because I feel like YouTube might block it <laughs> because she's completely naked and there's no underwear on her or anything like that. So I'm just gonna keep her face on the screen for you guys. But if you actually want to know how to start your avatar in this, you would, after installing everything, you'll be able to find under products, all products, Genesee 9. This is the newest version, okay? You would double click on it and go on figures and you could either start a completely plain avatar and work your way or maybe get one of the default base people avatars that they have. Okay, and then change the features as you go. Under hair, they don't have a lot. They only have this option. So for this hair, I actually downloaded a different one on the DAS website, they have the store. So you can go here on shop and just type hair and look for, for different hair and just download that. Once you download it again, it's gonna show up here and you're gonna have to download it again. And after that, it's gonna show on your list of products. Just like those two hairs show up to me here. And after that, you have under materials, you have different skin colors, different eye colors, different lingerie. I might put one on her just to just so we can actually show her. I'm gonna put that on and a bikini on. Just double click, okay. So that's her, not fully naked now. <laughs> You also have different poses, but to be able to transfer to Clo, you just keep her on this A-shape pose. You don't put her on any other poses. I'm very new to the software, so the whole layout is a little bit strange to me, but once you get started, you kind of you kind of work your way and figure it out. To change her actual features, you would click on her face and on shaping, you would be able to change everything on her face. So her head, her face itself. So if you click on face, click on base you have all these numbers here that you kind of move it so if I symmetry face uh, left you can see her face moving on the left and that way you literally change her face structure so brows you can change the height of the brows up and down but you just go through every single one of these and change the proportions change those numbers but yeah so work on your avatar make sure it looks the way you want it once you're happy with it you're just going to export as fbx just give it a name so i'm just gonna give test again okay i don't change anything that shows up on that window i just convert and wait i still need to do a lot of my christmas shopping I haven't bought anyone anything. So after that, you go to close on a completely empty file. You go under avatar, auto convert to avatar. And then here you're going to find your file, your FBX file. That window just said, make sure it's on an A pose. So that's why I told you guys to just keep her with the arms out. Just the pose that they give you as default. Find your file, click open. 
So Chloe already know this is a female avatar, converting options just automatic. And then down here you can choose what types of converted avatar you want. So I'm gonna select all of them just to show you guys, but you don't need to. But just to let you know, the Chloe skin style keeps the avatar from Chloe, it just changes the shape. This one is only the ringing, okay, so just a skeleton. And then the size editable one, you basically can use everything. Down here, you're gonna give it a name. So I'm just gonna do test. It saves on converted avatar folder just in here, inside close. So it's actually pretty easy to find. And you just click convert and wait. Okay, so here it is, three different avatars. So you have your claw one, your rigged one, and your size editable one. This one you can see, you cannot use the body simulation. This one you can, and this one you also can. So how are you gonna find it? You go on avatar, and then this converted avatar is gonna show up, and whatever name you gave, this is where it's going to save. I, after importing and converting in Chloe, I still wanted to kind of work on her. So I added some tattoos to her and I also did a little bit of her makeup. So I add a little bit of eyeshadow and I made her lips slightly darker. And then after that, I just saved her again as Avatar and gave her name as Tattoo. <laughs> So that's actually it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. I would love to see what kind of avatars you guys make. So go over to Discord and post your work there so we can all see and share our thoughts. Also go to Patreon if you want to see exclusive contents, exclusive live streams only for members and downloads as well. I provide some digital downloads there. So go over there if you want to see more. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I usually post that quite often subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to let me know what else you'd like to see next also i would appreciate it if you give it a like it just helps the video show to more people and i would love to be able to share my knowledge with more of you that's it for today i'll see you guys next tuesday bye